Okay, this is where things start to get interesting. We start to uh, to dress our building with doors and windows, apertures, etc. And first thing we'll do is take a look at our door setting tool. I've already pre-programmed a number of doors in here just to save time. The diner door is a, a patio door. By clicking in preview, you can actually rotate around that object. You'll see we have a again a semi-parametric methodology and I can change the, the colour of, of any object via the material setting. Let's change the door so like blue and the actually on the fly will appear. The height, width, sill height and thickness are all settable within these controls. Adding a new door, the same convention as, as the uh, OS 10, uh, click plus and minus, puts an untitled door in takes the settings from the last object that is selected and then from the pull down you select what uh, what door you wish to go in there we don't need that for the moment so I'm going to get rid of it diner is our first door insert and again using this clockwise methodology the first point we find will be our insert point again by going close to that line we find halfway it will select either end of that line click and it's inserted again in this, this clockwise sense. Let's go to our front door down here, front of the building. Let's go to our garage door, and we've got a side door in the garage for our last door insert. We'll have a quick look at this in 3D. Zoom in, and now you can see our library items inserted. And again, because they're semi-parametric, we can change those and they will reflect through the whole model if we use this front door several times throughout the building. Changing it once with the setting takes it throughout the whole model. If I click on that library item, you'll see in its floater it jumps to it. So again, it's a quick way of navigating around if you've got a substantial number of symbols in there. And let's change, uh, let's change the, the frame to black. See, that's reflected instantly and would reflect throughout any number of objects. Likewise, if we just change that object, let's change it to just an opening, patio opening, and again that has reflected right through. I'm going to put it back to our two sided double door. We have to apply that just to make sure you actually wish to, to change that door and that setting and close that down and we'll repopulate with our windows again pre-programmed our windows just to, to speed things along a bit and back into plan view we're going to drop in uh, small side windows bit of ambiguity over where that's going uh, diner and front window again clockwise direction because we're underneath the model we paste it on the outside wall again clockwise direction and that puts in our final window let's bring the 3D window back quick look around the model and we see there's our building dressed with its, uh, its windows and doors now you recall I didn't join the uh, the garage to the main part of the house you know, the, uh, the wall setting we can duplicate this wall outline, copy it, take it to another story. In this case, I've already put that story in 27, which is the wall height. When I paste that, it pastes the entire wall and all its inserted objects in one go. Very quick if you've got a, a duplicated sort of a multi story building. And of course, we don't want certain doors on the second floor, wouldn't be very healthy. And there is our completed shell of the building. Just a word about picking. Uh, 3D objects are picked in 3D and 2D objects are picked in 2D. This means we don't have to have a selection picker and we simply flick between the two states to select your 3D objects or 2D objects. Note that when you click on a, an object in 3D it also jumps to the layer that it is, it is sitting on. Likewise, with a 3D object, if I click on the window, 
it clicks to that window. Let's find a window that's easy to fix. It finds small side window. If I go to the back, it finds the large dining window. Click on that wall and it jumps to its appropriate layer. That enables it to rapidly quite move around the uh, 3D environment. So let's move on next to our wall tool.